It's the professor of science, sorry. Oh, Tommy, I never told you to do that. Now you're dead. The thing is, what the movie does do really well is that sometimes it's difficult for cinema to really give you a feeling for the passage of time. True. You know, the repetition of time. Yes. And 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 Groundhog Day really does give you that feeling of of he he goes through this constantly for a long time. I think he calculated it was like 100 years or something, 150. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, he, he yeah, you definitely get a sense that it takes a long time for him to go through the frustration and then the the, first of all, he has to understand what's going on. Then he, then he starts to experience frustration because he can't get out of it. And, and then he, he accepts it. And then he ex- accepts it and realizes that it's actually a great opportunity to... Do something good. To expand his skill set and do something good. And then he realizes that he actually gets the most pleasure from contributing to people's lives as opposed to simply... I think it's actually a plus for him, though, too. He can ask anyone now all these questions, wake up the next day, and he has all this knowledge... Well, he learns how to play the piano. He carves stuff out of ice. Carves, he learns to ice carve. Yeah, he learns all kinds of skills. What would you do if you had one day to live for the rest of your life? I honestly don't know. I really don't. Well, that's what, I mean, that's what we're going to Thank you. I mean, then, then again, I mean, every day is... The same day over again. Every day is a day that you, you have to live. So, yes. Um, getting more philosophical there, but still he had an unlimited number of that day. Exactly, yes. See, this is good stuff for YouTube. Also, remember if you do like these videos, like, comment, subscribe on the page, Connor Cowan, and go from there. You'll get more up, and click the bell, notification bell to get more updates. Harmless self-plug, self-promotion. David Letterman always said there's nothing wrong with a cheap laugh. Whoa, Fouts here already. Oh, you know uh, that uh, is homecoming. Oh, thank you. Thank you for telling me that. Why didn't you tell me this sooner? I, 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 It just occurred to me to tell you. I, 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 you big dummy. I, I, I. Say, like Don Rickles out there going, I, 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 and Johnny Carson about to beat him upside the head. Tonight is Rachel's homecoming. Yes. Nina's homecoming. uh, It's tonight, too, I think. Yes. Well, it was, sort of. Sort of. There's some other places down here. We'll see if we get some. Okay. But, 